coding is magical when you use it in classrooms because it helps classrooms work together. So you can have one account where like up to 50 people can work together typing one project. You can have a Google Hangouts tab up so they can communicate on what they're doing. And it's magical because it takes the science and technology and engineering right out of STEM. And in some, it also takes out that mathematics. So I really like the way coding unites a class. And I really think that all teachers should be able to have a chance to let children code together. It means to me that like I'm lucky because some people don't get to do coding because they don't have the pieces to do it. So I feel like I'm lucky and I'm really happy that I'm doing it. This is something special. Not everyone gets to do it. Like other school districts, they don't do anything like this. It's teaching kids the basics of coding, which could lead them in certain job directions. We need fresh blood in the fields to keep things going, right? Uh, and so we need these, these kids that are, you know, 11, 12 years old, 10 years from now, they're going to be in the field. They're going to be building the applications that, uh, that we all are going to want to depend on. In this day and age, everything's computers. We need to teach kids how to do this so that when they grow up, it'll be even more technologically well, it, it advanced. Does. It's a really nice feeling because you get to see this thing that you made or made it do, like the spheros over there, they had to make it go around the track. It, it's difficult and when you finally actually do it, you get a really good sense of pride. It was just crazy how you just like type in this thing and it works. Like it makes the computer do something and so it's just like really fun whenever you have this compiler that checks for errors on your code, and whenever the compiler is like, you have 19 errors, you're like, oh shoot, what did I do? And then you go through and you solve every one of them. It's just so cool to make your own program. I think a lot of people just aren't sure of what the process looks like and how coding affects pretty much everything we do now and our future. When a lot of students go home and they say, hey, we're coding today, I'm not even sure all of our parents understand what they're working on. Many of these students would never have that opportunity or may never seek that on their own or in their class. So I think the initiative that the district pushes out is fantastic to let every student have a chance. What I liked about the Coding Week is that all the students in the building were able to be involved at different levels applicable to their skill set and they were constantly learning, they were constantly engaged. It starts young at sequencing and then the older students move towards block coding and then once they are more secure with their block coding they do start some line coding and there were some line coding activities as well and we even had some unplugged activities where they were learning some binary skills. It kind of helps people um, understand it on a simpler level because coding can be very um, scary with all the words and different language that you don't even know <laughs> but the games make it easier. There's no doubt that it takes a lot of time and experimentation to get comfortable uh, and, and good at developing any kind of skill. The real successful people that you meet that have been doing software and have really accomplished a lot, most of them did start pretty young. So if you can start now, then when you get to be the age where it really matters, you're, you're going to be way ahead. I've wanted to be a software engineer computer programmer since I was about six years old. And that's why I started learning when I was six years old. And it really prepares me, I think, for um, like life because I'm just I'm doing like a college program here and it's really cool to you know just go on the internet and go on a website and you understand how that website works. What I do with We Love to Code is instead of a week I don't think that's really enough. I think that maybe every other Friday should be maybe an opportunity where there's enough computer cards that children can do like a STEM activity or coding. Cards, books, they're expensive and they're in short supply, so we share them. It's hard for us to even guess what the future is going to be like. So I think the ability to just do as much as we can and just to see what they might want to pursue. Not everyone's going to be working in coding or building robots, but the ability to persevere and problem solve and work in teams is really the big focus on all of this. And it's fascinating that I could have started someone's entire career just by doing something as simple as this for 10 minutes with them.